Hello, I'm Dr. Megan, Director of Research at the Institute for Ridiculous Science. Today I'm joining Fleege to bring to you a very important message. Fleege colon, that's right, Dr. Megan. Fake fur comes from one place and one place only. Puppets. Hey, that's me! That's right, Fleege. Every day, thousands of puppets die in America's fake fur processing plants. Today we'd like to share one of their stories with you. Once upon a time, no, there was... What? <sighs> I had eight beautiful babies once. They were the light of my life. I did everything for them. We would play and dance and eat candy in our happy nest. <sighs> it was everything I dreamed of. Until, until one day... I had gone to the end of the block to get the mail. I was only gone for a moment. I must have left the door unlocked because when I came back, they were gone. <laughs> I just went to get the mail. <laughs> My babies! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my babies. <laughs> Every year, millions of puppets are torn away from their families and destroyed in America's fake fur processing plants. Many of these are puppets, far too young to be separated from their parents, but highly prized for their soft fake fur. It may take dozens of puppets to make a single fake fur garment. Each one represents a massacre. We're asking you to help stop the murder. Call the number on your screen or visit our Facebook page now to get more information on how you can stop puppet poaching. Bleach colon, if you can't call now, you can help puppets by boycotting stores that sell fake fur products and refusing to buy fake fur. That's right, Fleege. The Institute for Ridiculous Science is committed to using only 100% fake fake fur in all of its projects. Please, call now and give puppets a hand. Fleege colon, because fake fur is murder. No puppets were harmed in the making of this video other than Fleege. Reenactments featured paid actors. All stories are not representative of true stories. Names, dates, details, situations, smells, and or reality may have been fictionalized. The Institute for Ridiculous Science does not condone any actual boycott, action, reaction, or rabble-rousing related to fur, fake fur, fake fake fur, fleece, Antron, or terry cloth. Your mileage may vary. So, if enough people call, does that mean I don't have to live in a cage anymore? Uh, no, Fleege. You're made out of fleece, and no one cares about fleece puppets. Oh. I do.